What's going on everybody? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome back to Generation Zero. For today, we are going to be talking about how to complete the Weapon of Mass Destruction Challenge Tree with absolute ease. I'm going to be telling you guys how to complete this within a day or two of simple grinding. And uh, we're going to be talking about the route that I've taken. And we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks for getting easy fuel cell shots. Uh, we're going to go over how to get the quick kill Magnus fuel cell shot. We're going to be talking about how to deal with hunters in order to get the fuel cell shot. And then we're going to talk about the machines that you should be targeting in order to do this fuel cell challenge. And then after that, uh, we'll go over just a little bit of an extended route just in case if this video needs any sort of future proofing. So with that out of the way, let's get into the route first things first. So this route primarily focuses on two locations in specific, Turnboda Scans and uh, Osterhallen. So Turnboda Scans is an excellent location for hunting primarily runners, and runners are the best machine that you're going to want to go for when you're completing this challenge. And then on top of that, Osterhallen has some reliable set spawns for a couple... Um, a couple more of the Apocalypse Runners. So uh, in Turnboda Scans, basically you're going to want to go through and kill all of the runners and potential hunters that spawn in this city. Uh, a lot of times you can find yourself anywhere from like 15 to 20 machines in this location and it can be incredibly lucrative for completing this challenge very very quickly. And then on top of that, off in Osterhallen, as I said, there are some reliable set spawns of just a couple runners. So the idea behind this route is essentially you start in Turnboda, and then you fast travel over to Osterhallen, and then you fast travel back to Turnboda, and then what you'll want to do after doing that loop of starting at Turnboda and ending at Turnboda is you'll want to quit to menu so that that way you can kind of refresh the spawns in your world. And after you're done quitting to menu, you just jump back into the game, you'll start off at turn Boda, and then you'll do the same route again. And if you do this over and over and over again, you'll be killing anywhere from 40 to 50 fuel cells uh, in each run. And this can get you through all 500 of them uh, really, really quickly and really, really easily. Sometimes you'll find that machines will not spawn, but all you have to do if no machines spawn or if only a small amount of machines spawn is simply do the same quit to menu trick so that that way you can again refresh the spawns in your world. Now when you're completing this challenge, the main thing to keep in mind is that each machine will only ever offer one single fuel cell per kill. So even though the machines look like they have more of these nuclear fuel cells on them, the only one that will ever count is the primary fuel cell. So that means that in the end, the most efficient machines that you're going to want to target for this are hunters and runners. The tanks, in the end, wind up taking a little bit too much work and a little bit too much of your time for them to be incredibly lucrative for uh, completing this challenge quickly and efficiently. So you'll want to just target runners, and then if hunters are in the area, they're pretty okay to go for, even though they can be a little bit irritating in comparison to the runners. But still, in the end, both the runners and hunters are far better targets than the tanks themselves. Now let's get into these Magnus quick kills because they've been made a little bit easier as of the most recent update. You're actually able to aim primarily at the gas tank and just aim down sights and pull the trigger and you'll be able to pull off these Magnus quick kills really efficiently. You can still aim to the right as well uh, because when your character aims down sights they kind of shift the Magnus over to the left. And so you can utilize this to target the gas tank and the fuel tank on the machine really, really easily. Pull off these Magnus quick kills like an absolute pro. So 
So now for the hunters, in order to get the hunters fuel cells really easily and efficiently, all you have to use is some sort of EMP in order to stop their movement. So you can use location based EMPs or the uh, EMPs that you pick up off enemies. As well, it can be pretty easy to hit them with the experimental PVG, and that can sometimes hit the fuel cell as well. Now, if you aren't planning on utilizing the Magnus, you'll want to use a gun that has a low amount of recoil, and the KVM-89 is a perfect option. As well, any sort of SMG has incredibly low recoil, so you can use that as well to aim at the fuel cell. And I find that the Hurt Fist is the best shotgun option if you're going to be utilizing a shotgun for the fuel cells. Now just to future proof this video, just in case if the whole quit to menu trick doesn't work or if these reliable spawns are taken away at any point in time, I'm going to give you guys a bit of an extended route here so that that way this video is future proofed and that way this will be a reliable video for, uh, for ages to come. So uh, again, still Turnboda and Osterhallen are the two main places that you want to be heading up. But on top of that, you can also find reliable spawns for runners and hunters off at Himmervet. And then as well, you can find really reliable spawns just in front of uh, Gadon over here, just along this kind of road and near uh, the FOA4 bunker, just along this route. There happens to be a relay beacon here as well, so you can also find some reliable runners spawned in this location too. And as long as you don't destroy that relay beacon, those machines will respawn every single time you quit to menu and jump back into the game. Then as well, down here at the Osterhallen Marine Center, you can find sometimes in the little parking lot a bunch of runners, and sometimes in the little valley just beside it, just in front of the castle that's out on this pier here, you'll also be able to find runners and hunters. So there you guys go. It's super easy to complete this challenge. It just requires a little bit of grinding, and once you get that out of the way, you get probably one of the goofiest, funnest emotes that's in the game so far with that cowbell. Uh, in the words of the great Christopher Walken, Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. There you have it. Uh, <laughs> every song needs cowbell. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as I give the best tips and tricks and walkthroughs and news and information and all of that jazz for Generation Zero. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.